Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we continue this fall, but it looks like we have found the bottom here. We're trading just at the 20 exponential. We are, we was basically expected for the 20 exponential to cross the 200 moving average, but it looks like we have just rounded off here. So whether or not that occurs, that is going to be a, a major implication for basically whether or not we go higher or we basically break down from here. So if we cross the, if the 20 exponential crosses the 200, then we could head higher. If we turn around here and the 20 exponential heads back towards the 50, then we could see this drop even further to the, to the downside. It looks like we're basically creating lower, uh, 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 higher lows here. But uh, technically, they are basically all turning to the downside at this current stage. So we have been dropping for the last six trading days. Uh, MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. But 20 exponential has been holding here and here and looks like it's holding again right here. So a rally above the 200 moving average again, then we could head back towards the top of the bullish band at rapidly 93.5. So let's look at oil. So oil has yet again all over the place. Um, we are, it is really difficult to, to say whether or not oil is going to break down from here or whether or not it's going to rally. Kind of depends on whether or not the 20 exponential crosses the 50. So you can see what basically happened here when we had this crossing. It was back all the way back in November last year. We had the crossing here at 12th of November and then we basically rallied and rallied just above the 20 all the time. So if you have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50, then we could start to see this price action trade underneath the 20 exponential, basically bouncing off the 20 all the way down towards the 200 moving average or towards 50 or the Fibonacci retracements that we can always look at. Uh, but it's too early to say whether or not that is going to be the case. If we drop significantly uh, from this price level here, then we can see um, support being around the 54, then to 51, and then to the 200 moving average here, also the Fibonacci retracement of 61.8% uh, at 46. But at the moment, it is too early to say whether or not we are going to see that. We probably need to see the crossing of the 20 and the 50 before uh, before uh, concluding that we will mostly go lower. Uh, if we manage to break above the 50 and the 20, then we will probably go back towards the very highs here of 66. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has uh, rallied quite significantly today. We uh, were also expecting for the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average to cross, but that uh, doesn't look like that is going to happen right here and now. If we have uh, a rally above the 200 again and the 20 exponential, then we could see this move back towards the upside. So. We did have this crossing over here of the 20 exponential and the 200, and we saw this massive rally here. Since then, we've basically been broken, breaking down, and now we're going to see the crossing yet again. And we're probably also going to see the 50 moving average cross the 200 if we fall further from here. So we have found major support down here at 2.47. If that breaks, then we could go significantly lower from here. Rallies from here will most likely find the major resistance at the 20 and also the 50 up here at 2.7. So let's look at copper. So copper yet again has uh, rallied and up towards the bottom, top of the bullish band and then broken down again. Found the support here at the 20 exponential. If that breaks, we could head towards the 50 down here at 3.9. Rallies from here most likely find uh, additional resistant at 4.1. Technical negatives are basically all over the place at this current stage. So yes, it is a breakdown towards the 50. That is most likely going to be uh, bought into where, where basically buyers come back in and, and push this to the upside. So let's look at gold. 
So gold had had a really interesting day today. Uh, in the lower in the lower time frames, it looks like we were going to break down. But at this current stage, we're trading at 17.39, and we have the 50 moving average moving in this direction. It is going to be uh, quite a lot, kind of going to be resistant. Um, and we also have the top of the bullish band here at uh, 1754. A break below the 20 exponential that opens the door to the bottom of the bullish band at 1700. Break below that, that could open the door to 65 and also to 1600. Technically, they are not very bullish at this point. The MACD is bullish, the CCI is still bullish, but it is leveling off. So, CCI. Um, the stochastic is leveling off the cci is also leveling leveling off and so is the rsi so if we manage to take off these um, previous highs here then we could head towards 50 otherwise we could roll over and head back towards uh, the very bottom so let's look at silver so silver also has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and at this current stage uh 200 is a major support and the 20 exponential is major resistance so we need to basically break above this or towards the downside in order to get anywhere uh, meaningful at this current stage break above the uh, 20 can open the door to 50 at 26 dollars technical indicators they are fairly bullish at this current stage so let's look at platinum so platinum reached the top and is basically doing the same thing as it has been doing for a very long time now it's basically getting uh, overstretched pulling back towards the very middle the uh, very bottom of the bullish band and then rallying back to the top and then we'll probably have a pullback towards the middle or the very bottom of the bullish band technical indicators they are all turning around some of them are still bullish like the like the macd and the, and the stochastic and the cci is still in bullish territory but it's really turning around while the rsi is is bearish at this current stage so let's look at pallium. There. So pallium, yes, as expected, uh, we uh, yet again ran into uh, ran into resistance in this area here, where we tested um, only a few weeks ago, and then also the other week, and yet again this week. So this is an area of uh, major resistance, which we need to basically break in order to go towards 2750. We did break down towards a 20 exponential and then basically rallied. So the 20 exponential is still holding. A break below the 20 could open the door to the 50 down here at 24, 21. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. So this is not looking really good when considering the technical indicators. So let's look at aluminum. So aluminium, um, well, did fall a little bit today, basically ended up uh, at the mo almost the same uh, place as we were, where we started, uh, ended yesterday. So at this current stage, we're in between the you know, top of the bullish band and the middle of the bullish band. And technically at this point, at the point, we could rally to the upside, we could rally to the downside, is basically 50-50 and therefore uh, just uh, no point of... Uh, entering this market uh, whatsoever this current stage so let's look at nickel so nickel has uh, well yesterday we did rally above the top of the bullish band and now we're pulling back ever so slightly we're just above the 20 exponential so we do need uh, bigger moves in this market in order to determine where this is basically going we're going to see here that the 200 moving average is offering quite a lot of uh, support and uh, we rallied above the bulge band here and therefore we basically are pulling back but these movements uh, don't really say much at this current stage we basically need um, ma making uh, lower highs here or basically making lower lows in order to determine where we're basically going in this market so let's look at the uh, sugar so sugar has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and this is just a more of the same we can see that we rallied here broke down rallied here broke down and then rallied yet again and now we're pulling back quite significantly if we manage to break above the 20 exponential we could head towards a 50 at 0 0.1609 and the top of the bullish band here at 0 0.1648 otherwise roll over from here we could head all the way towards the bottom of the uh, 
uh, range here of where the 200 moving average is, which is at 0 0.14 in my 21. Technical indicators, they are actually very fairly bullish, uh, but we have also been rallying the last uh, three trading, uh, four trading days, I should say, and therefore we can see this curvature to the upside in most of these technical indicators. But they are all still in negative territory. So let's look at cotton. So cotton also has a rally the last two trading days, but we are having difficulty getting through, um, basically getting through this uh, resistant area here. So uh, we have the 20 exponential, which has acted as major resistant in the past, and then also this area here, which we have tested several times and have not managed to break through. So if that is the case, we could roll over here and head towards the 200 moving average if we don't manage to break it significantly above here. Technical indicators are basically turning around. MACD is still in negative territory underneath the signal line. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is uh, still in bearish territory, but becoming bullish. And the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at Cocoa. So Kokoa uh, is rallying, uh, but still uh, 20 exponential should be expected to be major resistant. We are uh, basically in the middle of the bottom of the bullish band and the middle. So basically in the middle of nowhere until we basically rally towards the 20 and get rejected there and pull over, uh, pull down to the downside. It uh, is basically no reason to basically focus on the market whatsoever at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has been rejected yet again at the 20 exponential and then we pulled back and then rallied a little bit. So we could see this go and test the 20 exponential yet again. If we get a negative candlestick here tomorrow, then we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band at uh, around uh, 600 or the 200 moving average at uh, 590. Uh, but uh, at this current stage, we are just trading on the, between the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. MACD is about to cross the signal line and becoming very bullish. Same goes for the stochastic and the CCI is becoming bearish. So it is, you know, we basically need to see where this technically is going. Break below the 200 moving average, well, that could basically open the door all the way down to 550 and then to 500. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.